guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is time for me to retune my car. So I thought I'd do a video on how to do remote tuning on your Evo 10, um, as it's a good way to save a bit of money if you're tuning, or if you don't live somewhere that has a tuner with a dyno nearby, this is the best thing you can do. So just recently I have installed my AMS front mount intercooler, which you can see there. And after that also had a DW hardwire kit for my fuel pump installed. So I have the DW300C fuel pump. Now I have the hardwire kit, so it's hardwired to the battery now, which is what my tuner recommended. Um, so originally I had this car on E85 with a stock turbo, and I've since then upgraded to a GT pump 712 turbo. But we've only completed so far the 98 or pump fuel tune. And yeah, we still have to get to the 98, uh, sorry, to the E85 tune. But before that, I decided I should probably upgrade my intercooler and yeah, the tuner also recommended I get the hardwire kit. So yeah, I've gone and had that installed and we are now having to just touch up the pump fuel tune that is on the car. So yeah, I thought I would make a video showing you exactly what you need to do. Um, and yeah, once this is finished, I'm going to be going flex fuel, so I'm waiting on a flex fuel sensor to come, and then we will do the same thing for E85 and yeah, let, let the tuner sort of um, tell me what sort of logs he'd like, and yeah, we'll be tuning it from there. But yeah, for today, let's um, jump in the car and I'll show you first of all what you need if you want to do a remote tune. Obviously, firstly, you'll need a tuner who is going to do the work. You'll just be doing the driving and the logs and sending them to him. So yeah, let's jump in the car and see what you actually need other than that. Okay guys, so it's been a few days since I filmed the intro. Um, after starting to edit the video, I realized I could do a better job of explaining um, how it all works and what you need. So I thought I'd have a second go at it. So, all right, let's go through it. What you need is to start, you need a laptop. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything special, just something that's not gonna crash all the time and holds enough battery to you know, do a couple of logs and everything. So this is just a cheap laptop, um, but you need to download a couple of programs. So that's the first thing. Secondly, you're going to need a Tatrix cable. So this is the Tatrix Open Port 2.0. Um, these cost a couple hundred dollars, and I'll put a link in the description to these. Um, definitely a must have. This is what's going to be sending the info from your car to the computer. Next up, you see this little guy down here, this is a DB9 connector, uh, it's about two dollars, you can pick it up from Officeworks or any electronic store. So I had a friend uh, wire this up for me, so this, if you can see, is coming from underneath the glove box all the way through the dash, and it's actually wired into my AEM AFR gauge. So the problem with um, the tuning we'll be doing is the car's ECU seems to only send um, narrow band readings rather than wide band which is what your tuner will want so this is something you'll have to do um, think there's a few companies that actually make a sort of direct plug that can go from the gauge and just solder anything up but yeah like I said if you are handy enough with a solder or you just get someone to do it for you you can just add this onto your wiring for your gauge before you install it into the car and then just run this through so anytime you want to retune this is just sitting underneath the glove box or in the glove box you can just pop it out like I have today um, and so obviously you're gonna need something to go into that which will be this serial to USB adapter so this has USB on one side and this guy on the other so this will obviously plug into here and then so you'll have this plugged into your laptop the other end of the serial to USB plugged into your laptop and then this will be plugged into the car's ECU, and that's gonna allow you to get all the readings. But next, you will need the two programs we'll be using today. So I'll open the laptop up and I'll show you the programs we're gonna need. Okay guys, so I've opened up the laptop and this is the two programs you're going to need. So you've got ECU Flash, and you've got EvoScan. Now, ECU Flash is a free program. I'll have links to both of these in the description. But yeah, ECU Flash is free. You'll be downloading that so that you can um, basically flash the maps or the tunes that your tuner sends you. So say if you're starting off with a new turbo or new injectors, you go on E85, you're going to need a base map to start the car up. So your tuner will send you all that and send you a definition file for your car. 
and you'll download ECU Flash, you'll open those up that he sends you, it'll, op it'll actually basically open ECU Flash straight away, and then you'll just scan those into the car. Um, and Evo Scan is a paid program, so I think it's around $25 USD or something like that. But so you download that, I can open it, open that up, and so I have this currently set up the way that um, my tuner wants it. So you can see you've got the ECU that you choose, so there's a bunch of different ones there. Um, choose your open ports at 2.0 and then it's just going to tell you basically what settings he wants to read so as you can see that's um, that's what I've got currently and basically once you plug in your Tatrix cable into your car um, it is going to allow you to click start data logger and you get green over here indicating that it is currently reading so what I'll do is I'll just do a little test one to show you because there is one other thing with your wideband gauge. Even though you've plugged that in, sometimes it won't actually read. So I'll quickly just try, show you a something to troubleshoot that I had a little trouble trying to get that to read um, before we figured out what the issue was. So I've seen other people have trouble with that. So I'll, I'll plug in our Tatrix cable and I'll um, start the car up and I'll just show you quickly how to basically do that. All right, so let's uh, plug in our Tatrix cable. So this one, like I said, goes down into OBD2. So you're gonna grab it, spin it around, so you want it facing this way. And it's gonna go up into there, plug that in. And once it's plugged in, you should, um, it should be lighting up in a few different colors. And then also, we've connected these two. So these are now going into the laptop. I've actually got an adapter here because this laptop only has two ports and I wanted to use the mouse. But so now, that is now all plugged up. That's what we need to do. So now I'll start the car and we'll just do a little test log to make sure it's working. Okay, so we're gonna start the car up. I'm gonna come over to EvoScan. And everything should be working, so we're just going to click Start Data Logger. You see this goes green over here, so that is logging. And what we want to check now is, like I said, sometimes your wideband rate gauge won't be reading. So hopefully you can see that on the laptop. So mine is actually reading the 15.4, 15.1, 15.2. I'm actually on a run-in tune at the moment, so it hasn't all been dialed up yet. So what I'll do is I'll stop Data Logger. And so if yours is just not reading at all, it just has an X there. I'll show you quickly what you need to do to fix that. So come up to Wideband, WDB, click on that. You want to make sure you have your gauge selected. Your tune will probably be able to help you out with this, but if you have the AEM that I use, X-Series, then it's this one, AEM UEGO 9600. Then what you want to do, if that's still not working, is come down to Open Windows Device Manager to check ports. Click on that. So that'll open up your device manager. You want to come down to your ports, COM and LPT there. Then you want to click on the Profilic USB to serial or whatever it says under there for the type you're running. Then we want to go to port settings. You want to go to so port settings at the top here. So I'm struggling to see and film. Then you want to go to advanced and so here you can see COM port number is COM3. Mine when I first plugged it in it was on uh, 10 and it would not work. It wasn't reading anything. So what I did is I went into this and I chose number 3. It actually said, just like you can see for 4 and 5 and 6, it says it was in use. That was fine. I just clicked on it anyway um, and clicked OK and it actually came up saying this is already in use, are you sure you want to continue it? I said yes, um, and then OK, close that up, and then I clicked Start Data Logger, and it then actually was reading. So that's basically what we want to do. So let's say we want to just get an idle log for our tuner. 
it would just click start data logger, let it idle for a few minutes. Sorry, my connection on this computer keeps cutting out. So, yep, we log that idle, let's say. Then what we want to do is we want to send it to our tuner. So, I communicate with my tuner, which is Beeble Tuning, um, just through Facebook Messenger, so I can just attach the files that way. But um, you may doing, be doing it through email. So what I'll do is I'll just go into the folder where those logs save, and you go into just attach that file. So whether you do it through Facebook Messenger like I do, because we sort of tune live, basically. I'll sort of organise a time with him, and we'll both be at our computers, and I'll just go out and do the logs I need. But so, yeah, if you're doing it via email, it may take a bit longer, but either way, I'll, um, I'll go in and I'll show you where you get those logs from. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll find your EvoScan folder on your computer. We'll go into that. We want to go to our saved data logs, and at the top will be your most recent. So, we'll go to the one below that. It was just a bit longer, so you can see the size of it. So, one is, you know, one KB is going to be the tiny one when the computer stuffed up. So, we'll go to this one. It's going to open an Excel document, which I'll just wait for that to open up. Um, I don't really look at these. This is more what your channel will be looking at. And it's just going to have all the info they need. So boost and RPM and wideband readings. So that's what we're going to be sending to the tuner. So you would go into your email and you would find that file and you would attach it or Facebook Messenger or whatever you're using. Um, and you send that. So that would be our idle log that he wanted. And then say he wants some general cruising. So then what we would do is start the car up, we'll reopen EvoScan, and we'll just go for a drive. So if you're doing it by yourself, um, you can just hit enter, and it's going to start, and you just go for your drive around for a couple of minutes, whatever the, he's asked for, whether it's motorway driving or just light off boost, whatever you're trying to ask for. He's going to leave that, it's going to be staying green like that, and then once you're happy, with you've got enough for him, you'll just press enter again and it's going to stop and then that will be your second log that you can send him and you basically just go back and forth, um, he'll be sending you more maps and back and forth until he's happy with it um, and then he'll send you your final map, you load that in and you're done with your tune. So what I'll do now is I'll just show you, say you've sent that log across, um, you then would want to, he'll send you a new map to load into your car which will is what we use ECU Flash for. Okay, so once you've sent your logs across to your tuner, he'll make his adjustments, whatever they do, and they'll send you a new map. So here I've got two maps. These are my old ones with my stock turbos. So this one was the Flames map that I had. So I've downloaded and saved this, just so when I had the stock turbo, I was planning on swapping these over, but no longer need to do that. But so let's just click on that. So it's going to ask you where do you want to open this. So obviously ECU flash, which makes it nice and easy. So then it takes a minute or so to um, open this program, but we'll let that open up. Um, your tuner will definitely send you a definition file that sort of how ECU flash will work. Um, you'll have a defi definition file and then the map that it'll send you. So we'll leave this down here at the bottom is the definition file, so that's going to be an old one, I don't want to flash that onto my car obviously. And that up here is the one we've just opened, so you can see it says flames. Then you will click on, sorry, this first red one here, write currently loaded ROM image. You're going to click that, make sure you have your ignition on, but your engine off. So like that. I did film me loading a map, so I might put that on now, just to show you what it does, but um, it was with my phone, I didn't have my GoPro working at the time. So I'm going to click OK. You see it start doing its thing. Your dash will start going through a bunch of check lights. You'll hear your fan kick on. So that's loading that up now. See down here, it's in the process. Still going. Takes about 30 seconds. Uh, 
and there we go that's completed so we now have the new map loaded so that's how you load a map to your car okay guys so that's it i've showed you what you need how the programs um, work and giving you a sort of a rough rundown of what you'll be doing with the tuner you may want 20 to 30 logs you may just want a few you might be able to dial it in pretty quick but either way every tune is going to be different the tuner i use like i said is beeble tuning um, if you search him on facebook it's beeble b double e b l uh, b l e sorry tuning and is spelt like t double o n i n g um search him on facebook send him a message um he's really good if you're in australia obviously he's in australia so he'll do it he's in different state to me um, so that's why I do it remotely and if you're in America or any other country he's more than willing to tune overseas uh, very easy to deal with and really great prices and really good with the SST transition but if you have a manual obviously he can tune for that too um, but yeah he's been tuning for a, a long time with the Evo 10s knows what he's doing so yeah that's um, basically what you need to do thought it'd be a really helpful video because when I first was looking at doing remote tunes for my car um, this is something that would have been really helpful. I did get a friend, like I said, to help me out with the wiring and he'd tuned with Beeble before, so um, that was really good. But I figured for anyone who doesn't have a mate that can help them out, this would be a helpful video. And it can save you some money if you're looking at doing your tuning or if you don't have any tuners nearby, this is the best option. So yeah, I've um, put in a few clips, hopefully, of me doing some running tunes when the boost was turned down. Yeah, I've showed you everything, so hopefully that's a helpful video for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed, definitely make sure you give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this on the Evo 10 and Rally Art platform. Uh, I do make a video every Wednesday and Sunday. But yeah, with that said, I will catch you guys later.